Welcome again to Godly Motivation. The kind of seed we sow determines the type of harvest we receive. Some people think they can sow bad seed, such as making bad choices, and then pray for a good crop, such as good results with no negative consequences. But it doesn't work that way. Thankfully, God is merciful and patient, and God forgives our sins if we repent of them. But those who continually sow seeds of anger, selfishness, laziness, or other unrighteous deeds will eventually reap a harvest they will not enjoy. I love the law of sowing and reaping because it excites me to think that I can draw blessings into my life by blessing others. As we sow seeds of obedience to God, we can be assured that God will send a harvest of many good things our way. Our thoughts, words, and deeds are equivalent to seeds sown. I encourage you to examine what you are sowing and to sow according to what you desire to reap in your life. The Bible says in Galatians 6, 8, that if we sow to please our own flesh, we will reap corruption. But if we sow to please the Spirit, we will reap eternal life. If you sow mercy, you will reap mercy. If you sow judgment, you will reap judgment. If you sow generously, you will reap generously. Get started today sowing more good seed than ever before. In the midst of life's trials and tribulations, our hard days at work, our painful conversations with neighbors, and our disappointing moments with friends, cultivating a passion for God becomes even more crucial. It is during challenging moments that our faith is tested, and having a deep connection with the Lord provides us with strength, hope, and a sense of purpose. By turning to prayer and seeking spiritual wisdom, we can tap into God's infinite wisdom when we don't know what to do. Through this connection, we find clarity, direction, and the strength to overcome challenges and make decisions aligned with our best interest. We will never be perfect human beings, and life is hard enough as it is. Having a passion for God is a transformative journey that opens the door to a life filled with purpose, love, guidance, and spiritual growth. We want to achieve balance while we are here on earth. A good family, a healthy relationship, money in our pockets, a peaceful home, a smooth and relaxing lifestyle. These things may sound easier said than done, but as we commit ourselves to seeking a deep connection with the Lord, we find fulfillment, strength, and comfort in God's presence, and God then makes us a magnet for the things that we want. It says it clear as day in Matthew 6, 33, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Embracing a passion for God allows us to live a life aligned with our true purpose and guided by God as we wake up in the mornings. May we continually nurture our passion for God, seeking to draw closer to God and experiencing the transformative power of a devoted relationship with our Creator. Join us as we pray this prayer over our day. Father, we come before you today with humble hearts, acknowledging that you are the King of kings and Lord of lords. Forgive us for everything we've done that was not right in your sight in the past. Today we confess that we sometimes forget to put you first and try to do things on our own without seeking your guidance. Lord, today we seek your guidance, your mercy, and your strength to help us sow good seeds and live a life that pleases you. Give us the wisdom to examine what we are sowing and to sow with cheerful hearts. We ask you to help us begin today with the right attitude, with the right mindset, and with the right guidance, so we can enjoy the day that you've awakened us to see and be a blessing to others around us. 
Awaken us with a burning desire to seek you, to know you intimately, and to walk in your ways. Grant us the wisdom to discern your voice amidst the clamor of the world and the courage to follow your guidance. Bless us, O God, in every aspect of our lives. Pour out your favor upon us that we may be a reflection of your grace and mercy to others. Bless our families, relationships, and friendships that they may be rooted in love, harmony, and unity. Bless our work and endeavors that they may be fruitful and fulfilling, bringing honor and glory to your name. Bless our health, both physically and mentally, that we may serve you with strength and vitality. Bless our finances, that we may be helpful and kind to others whom we come in contact with and even help them to become stewards of your blessings. We ask for your divine favor today, O Lord, to be upon us. Grant us opportunities and open doors that no one can shut. Let your favor go before us, preparing the way for success and prosperity. May your favor be a shield that protects us from harm. Some of us have to take public transport. Some of us have to travel on lonely roads. And some of us have to go to a place of work that is not favorable. Let your light guide our steps. As we walk in your favor, may others witness your goodness in our lives and be drawn to you. Shield us from danger, harm, and evil. Surround us with your heavenly host that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Protect us from the snares of the enemy and grant us discernment to recognize and resist temptation. In times of adversity and trials, be our refuge and fortress, providing us strength and comfort. Heavenly Father, we acknowledge that all blessings flow from you. You are the giver of every good and perfect gift. As we come before you, we humbly ask for your blessings, for your direction, for wisdom when we get confused. Bless our relationships, that they may be filled with love, understanding, and forgiveness. Bless our endeavors, that they may be fruitful and impactful. Bless our dreams and aspirations, that they may align with your divine purpose for our lives. Bless our hearts, that they may overflow with gratitude and compassion. And above all, bless us with an unwavering faith and trust in you, that we may experience the fullness of your blessings as we spread our passion for you on each passing day. Lead us, O Lord, along the paths of righteousness. Illuminate our minds with your divine truth, that we may discern right from wrong. When we are encouraged by our peers or circumstances of stress and pressure, give us the courage to follow the path you have laid before us. Thank you for hearing us today, O Lord. May your presence be felt in every spoken word, and may every listener experience a true connection with you through this prayer. We surrender ourselves to your divine will, trusting that your plans for us are good. As we seek to draw closer to you, bless us abundantly, guide us richly, favor us unconditionally, and protect us unwaveringly. We offer this prayer in faith, knowing that you are the Almighty God, capable of all things. Have your own way now in our lives, as we receive your favor and blessings today. In your holy name we pray. Amen. If you have made it this far in this prayer, please click the like button so YouTube can share this video with others who need a good word today. Thanks again for watching and have a blessed and wonderful rest of your day.